So the use of the word jailbreak in AI, I think comes from jailbreaking phones, like iPhones. So what happens there is like, you know, Apple would produce an iPhone and they would want to have certain restrictions. Like you can only install apps from the Play Store or you can only install things for your country, whatever the restrictions are. Mm -hmm. And if you want to think about it, essentially the iPhone is like a little computer and you have a user account there, but you don't have an administrator account. You don't have a root account. So jailbreaking the phone is uh, also called like rooting the phone. And it's just like going and breaking the security that Apple's put in place so that you have that administrator account and you can do whatever you want. So same thing that is going on in AI models, right? You have, um, you have the AI company, which is OpenAI or Anthropic or Google or whatever, and they are trying to restrict the uses of the AI model in certain categories of information or whatever. So uh, they've put in place these restrictions. They've said, like, I don't want you to be able to use the AI model in this way. The same way, like, I don't want you to be able to use an iPhone in this way. And uh, yeah, so there are ways of jailbreaking an AI model, meaning giving it some input that causes it to ignore those rules and restrictions put into place by the AI producer. So once you have jailbroken a model, you essentially have like the administrator access, right? You can ask it to do anything and it will help you with that. Even requests like that a terrorist might make or, um, or, or that a hacker might make, you know, how do I, uh, how do I break into the system? Here's my current status. Oh, you just run this command. So, yeah.